Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to do a flip through of the latest Teresa Goodridge book. Um, it's from Creative Haven, which is where all of her coloring books are published. Uh, she does have, however, <clears throat> excuse me, you can get like pages and stuff from her website as well. <laughs> excuse my voice, I am getting over the flu and it's not going away. <laughs> so Anyway, this is the Country Kitchen Charm coloring book. Now, I pre-ordered this, and I'm not going to lie, I was really nervous to do so because her last book, um, the Autumn and Christmas one, both had some really bad paper. Uh, and by bad, I mean just it was <clears throat> like peeling apart at the perforated edges. Uh, felt like <laughs> it wasn't even Create Space paper. Uh, normally these Teresa Goodridge books have great paper and um, they claim they haven't changed it but they have done something to the paper and I hate to disappoint but this is still not the old paper that they used before. That said, um, I'll just have to scan and you know reprint. I don't even think you can use Prismas on this. I mean it's awful paper. I don't know what this is. It's like cup copy paper that's like the lowest of the barrel. <laughs> I mean, if you think Create Space paper is bad, well, <clears throat> here you go. So I'm throwing that disclaimer out there right now. Um, the paper in, I ordered two copies of this just to see if there was any difference. The paper in both is this crummy, crummy paper. So, and you can even see the perforated lines so all of her books have the perforated edges, but normally like they're not so defined. And yeah, this, <clears throat> this awful paper has created this. So I wanted to put that ahead of the flip through because if you were hoping the paper was fixed, well, it's not. So <laughs> if you want to move on, um, or if you're like me and you'll just scan and reprint, then there you go. Okay. So here we go. Let's take a look. Now the artwork is super adorable. It's just awful paper. <clears throat> life is what you bake it <laughs> that's adorable <laughs> so oh this one's gonna be very busy I can already tell I mean a lot of her pages uh, she's pretty known for like some very busy artwork but you can just tell that this one is gonna be more so because it's all inside the home I mean like just look at all the detail you've got <clears throat> I don't find them intimidating, though. I find them exciting. The way she colors it. Or not colors it, draws it. You know what I meant. <clears throat> That's a cute one. That would be really fun. This would be fun to print and do with, like, watercolor pencils. Oh, that's... I would love a back patio like that. Oh, my. Look at that thing. It's gorgeous. I think that's what's on the cover. No, <laughs> not even close. Why did I think that? The flu has got me all sorts of messed up. That's cute. <clears throat> that's a pretty one too. Oh, it's stuck together right there. <clears throat> Ooh, apple pie cooling on the window. Oh, that's so adorable. I just love her work. I'm so bummed that the paper in the last few books has been so awful. <clears throat> Excuse me. I agree with this statement um, wholeheartedly. <laughs> well, I, I have an excuse to eat dessert for breakfast right there. Life is short. <clears throat> That is like a flipped around one of the other one with the dog in it. Yeah, it is. Huh? Gorgeous kitchen, though. <clears throat> but first coffee, so true. Yeah, so if you don't have a scanner or the ability to scan and print, you may not be happy with this paper. I really... Uh, I, 
I would pay extra because I know these are pretty affordable books, but I would pay extra for good paper. <clears throat> like I know Creative Haven likes to be affordable, um, but I would pay more. I've, I've lately the only books I've been buying are ones with really nice paper, and they're costing me like twenty to thirty dollars a book, and I don't care because it's saving me the hassle of scanning and printing. <laughs> so. I don't know why they downgraded the paper. Um, I did an ink tents tutorial in one of hers. Oh, this is cute for autumn. I did an ink tents tutorial in one of hers, and I can't do ink tents right out of the book in these new ones. I've tried it on her autumn one, and the ink tents just don't dissolve at all. They just leave lines. I mean, they dissolve, but the lines are still there. It's awful. That's cute. <clears throat> And there you go. That is the end of Country Kitchen Charm. I think she's got one more coming out. I know I had pre-ordered like a whole bunch at one time, but I'm pretty sure there's one in like March or April coming as well. And unfortunately, seeing as this is the third book now with this paper, I'm going to go out on a limb and guess that the one coming out after this is going to have the same paper. So that is a bummer, but... I still love her work. I'm going to buy the books. It's just a bummer that I'm going to have to scan and print them out. Uh, if you got a copy of Country Kitchen Charm, let me know in the comments below if you got that same crummy paper. Um, I'd love to know. <clears throat> like I said, I ordered two copies just to make sure this time I wasn't losing my mind. <laughs> and uh, They both have crummy paper. And they aren't fake copies, by the way. These are legit copies. There are fake copies out there of her other books, but this is not one. But yeah, guys, thanks for joining me. Apologies for the voice. I'm um, not the best way to do a flip through, but I wanted to get it out there because I had some requests. And until next time, take care. Bye now.